Hi, my name is Sunny Alan, and today I'll be showing you how to use Nuke software for our uh, Paint and PDF work. So this is a beginner tutorial, and uh, I'll be for this video we'll be going through Nuke interface and how we are using it for our PDF work. So let's start. By, as as you, you can see, this is now Nuke software, and uh, uh, yeah. This is Nuke, and uh, we will be starting from here. Uh, file so, uh, like every other software, this is the uh, same. Like, uh, we can go through file and uh, we can create new comp, like, we can create new file and we can open. Uh, like, it's like self explanatory. This everything here. So, this, these are all just basic uh, options for Nuke for opening file, saving file, and uh, all those things. And edit also, we are not using this, th these things uh, in our software, like every day-to-day -day usage software, like cut, copy, paste, we are using mainly soft shortcuts only, Ctrl X, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So as you can see, these are, you can remember these shortcuts from here. And these are all like, like self-explanatory. So you can understand by just reading through it. Workspace, uh, this thing, uh, in this menu, uh, you can see here are some different settings like compositing, large node graph, large viewers. So these are all options. Uh, what this means that uh, it, it will just uh, change the layout and design of our new, new workspace. Like this, this entire thing, it's a workspace. So this viewer, this properties, background renders, node graph, curvature. So this, uh, uh, this uh, like uh, co combining every these three uh, layouts, we will be getting a workspace. So if you are clicking another uh, option, you can see how it is changing. So as per your convenient, uh, uh, like how you are co com uh, comfortable, you can just change your workspace. So you can also reset it every time, every time. So you can also save. You can um, make some changes and you can save to the your workstation, workspace. Sorry, and. Uh, here this option is uh, we will be going through this option uh, while working in here node graph so render is also we will be going through here only so uh, uh, cache is there so this this is very helpful actually when your system is getting stuck you can uh, clear all the cache, uh, cache and like uh, clear buffers like you will be saving lots of uh, you will when you are starting to work in your sorts so you will be ut utilizing uh, lots of your system workspace ram and everything so you can um, clear everything from here and localization this is also very helpful uh, we will be going through this also so <laughs> these things are there okay so uh, we have covered this one so it's not that much um, of a thing but we will be going through this this entire range, entire desk entire shortcuts here so these are all very like uh, you will be using these things but again, uh, these are all like uh, manually clicking. No, these are all options like manually clicking and everything. So we will be using mainly for uh, lot. We will be using mainly shortcuts for everything like in in, in this uh, our prep work. So these, uh, as you can see, these are all like if you have seen Photoshop, like th these things are like that only. So when you are clicking on going to Photoshop and you are clicking there, then you will be getting some options. No, uh, so it, th this thing is same like that only. So uh, these are all options which, which will be these are all filters and everything is there. So not filters like um, uh, uh, like uh, lots of. Uh, um, like when you when you are using something you know, like blur blur so you can blur your image you can uh, do all sorts of things there so you can you can uh, transform you can do lots of things reformat position you can change position so uh, these are all very very complex uh, uh, complex things going on there so it's all combining under one option so you can use that option for uh, doing whatever thing in, the, in your sort so uh, these are like shortcuts again these shortcuts uh, there are lots of shortcuts is there so we'll be going through uh, those softwares um, one second. yeah so we'll be going through uh, those soft those those shortcuts uh, in here only node graph inside node graph only to save our time to save our time because we will be using like tens and twenties twenty like no we will be using ten blur twenty blur so uh, we, we are going there and we are clicking you know it will take lots of time so you can see here shortcut is also there b so and uh, yeah so this is viewer as you can see uh, viewer uh, it's like uh, not uh, photoshop it's like uh, 
after effect or any video, video editing software if you have used earlier so you can see that this is viewer so you can view your image your video anything you can view here also uh, uh, whatever work is uh, whatever work you will be doing now like you can see that uh, this thing node graph you will be this is your main uh, area for working so you will be doing lots of things here only so like 90 percent of work you will be doing here only so this is for viewing purpose only and this is for working purpose and this is for this is properties properties means uh, uh, for example you are using blur so like uh, for example you are using blur okay so when you are using blur so you can see that uh, this is uh, like a node uh, no this is called as a node node here so when you are do double clicking this thing this uh, node so you can see that um, you will be getting some options here like channels uh, size you know blur size and filter size filter you no know, options and then mask and mix and you no know, everything is there so for uh, controlling this option uh, you, you will be using this uh, this area properties okay so for every node for every node whatever node you are using no for every node uh, you will be getting options here that camera is loading yeah you will be getting options here only so whatever changes you want to do with this node no you have to just go to here 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 and then you can uh, make some changes as per your uh, so as you can see this viewer no uh, this is like viewer one you can see so this is viewer one you can press two uh, like you know uh, you can take more viewer and uh, you can just uh, you can have multiple viewers here actually you can have lots and lots of viewers so you can uh, uh, more uh, you can control your sorts you can work in your sorts in a better way like um, yeah i will show you for example this is one viewer okay you can see viewer one so when you are going uh, you, uh, when you are pressing tab you can just come here inside node graph you can click here so when once you are clicking here you are inside this node graph when you are clicking here you are, you are inside this viewer one so yeah okay so yeah so you can press tab and then you, you will be getting these options so these, are these options now uh, when you scroll down here so these are lots of examples lots of lots of node nodes there actually so what you can do you, you will be getting uh, every this kind of you know every option you will be getting from here also shortcuts and everything here also but uh, when you are working you know when you are working in lots of nodes so like it's it's very easier to just uh, press tab and then you'll be getting the search box and then you can just uh, you know press blur type blur so you'll be getting this blur instead of going here and searching where is that option you can just type and then uh, you can uh, take your option take your node so this is a better way actually so you'll be using uh, tab like most of the time so you just have to remember that and again i can yeah you can like i was saying you can just type viewer see viewer so you can get a viewer too actually you can go through here also and you can uh, find viewer but actually i'm not using this thing uh, this shortcuts much so i don't know uh, where that will be so yeah it may it might it might take it might some take some time but i'm not going through that so yeah you see you can see viewer one viewer two so you, here also you can see viewer one viewer two and like you can you, uh, once again uh, uh, once again when you're, when you're pressing tab now so you will uh, you will get here your last type last type knob so this is also very helpful like uh, previously i tapped viewer so i'll be getting viewer again I, uh, by pressing enter just you have to press ta uh, tab and then you have to type your node name you have to uh, know which node you are using so when uh, when you are going through my tutorial now you will be knowing um, like uh, yeah 90 percent of the nodes you will be knowing four hour prep work actually yeah because every day they will be adding some new nodes uh, not every day uh, every month or in regular time so we'll be getting some new nodes but um, like most of the work you can do with uh, uh, already uh, no viewer and i'll be going through uh, you know all those nodes here only so you can remember everything it's very simple only so yeah and uh, as you can see you will be getting properties of that viewer on the right side here so lots of things are there you can go through that okay so as you can see we have viewer 1 viewer 2 and viewer 3 okay here also viewer 1 viewer 2 viewer 3 so once we are uh, getting our sort no once we are taking our sort so we can uh, view that sort in here 
through connecting this node this one this is like connect this is like connecting okay this arrow is connecting this is showing that what uh, what we want to see as a viewer so this is input you can see that arrow is going downward so whatever sort is there you can just uh, no it's, it's like camera so it's like it's like projecting this whatever thing is there in in this area so it's like that so here also we can go uh, split you can see arrow is there uh, we want to you no know, split like this and view multiple at once so you can click split horizontal and you can see that there are two options here so you can drag viewer two here then again you can go here and uh, split horizontal then again you can drag viewer three here so you will be getting three viewers here yeah so you'll be getting three viewers here and you'll be work, you can work uh, you know if you want you can work in all all the three viewers so, i know like you can have multiples but mostly you'll be using two viewers like for most of the work uh, you'll be getting you'll be you know using viewer two viewers but like 90 percent of the work you'll be doing only one viewer only day so you can just close uh, close these things close pen and then close pen yeah so we are having viewer one and as soon as you uh, close pen no so you can click when you are clicking close pen so uh, that viewer will also be deleted but if you are trying to delete from here that viewer will also delete so this is by default actually so again if you are pressing no viewer one is default so you will be getting viewer one here so again it came here you can again dra drag and drop there also so it's like uh, uh, like you can complete you, you can control your workspace con uh, completely uh, as far as we are working <coughs> so yeah today we went through this new interface so everything is uh, we have covered for basic interface knowledge but uh, as i'll be going through uh, more advanced uh, tutorial, tutorials like no uh, we will be going through more other tutorials like then we will be uh, understanding and we will be knowing our workspace our new interface more uh, properly actually yeah so yeah it's 12 minutes now so I'm just hoping that my mouse is captured in this video recording. So yeah, okay. So after this uh, video tutorial, uh, I'll be going through another tutorial. So there will be lots of uh, basic tutorials uh, as I start. So I'll be go going through complete uh, course on uh, Nuke Prep, Nuke Sellout. No, uh, prep and paint work complete new uh, paint and prep work so you will be understanding how to uh, know how to do a uh, paint and prep work in you no know, in our in our industry in our work so in yeah in a, a, anywhere possible okay so our another tutorial will be like uh, we will be starting to look some basic nodes no, we will be looking some basic nodes and uh, we will be learning how to use that nodes so yeah it's very it's going to be very interesting so continue to watch that series also okay thank you so much see you again